Imagine trying to change your life. Now imagine trying to change your life with no family, no job skills, and no real education. That's the situation faced by many of the California inmates released from prison each year. More than 100,000 men and women statewide are released to supervised parole every single year. And of those, about 40% will return to prison in less than 12 months. Within two years, more than 50% will be back behind bars. The California Reentry Program at San Quentin State Prison is trying to change that. The program began in 2003 with one woman who realized the system was not enough. Allison West was teaching algebra at a San Quentin Community College program at the time. One day a student inquired about how to continue his education outside of prison. Allison helped him apply for admission and financial aid. Word quickly spread and she found herself answering questions about college, substance abuse treatment, and housing. She was stunned to learn there was no organized way of connecting inmates with resources to help them succeed in their lives after prison. Most walk out of the gate with a bus ticket home and about a hundred bucks in their pockets. And these are the tools provided to change their lives. Imagine trying to get a job, rent an apartment, or buy a car with nothing but the clothes on your back and less than a hundred dollars. It's easy to think that freedom from incarceration is adequate, but for those truly trying to change their lives, it's not good enough. They need help. During the past eight years with Allison at the helm, the program has grown to a team of 30 volunteers who make the trek to San Quentin every Tuesday and Thursday night. Last year alone, volunteers counseled over a thousand men, and that number continues to grow. They help clients with everything from getting a driver's license or birth certificate to finding jobs or applying for transitional housing. It's not uncommon for clients to visit with their counselor every single week for months or even years at a time. But the California Reentry Program provides more than just information. It provides much needed normalcy and consistency to a population that sees little of both. CRP volunteers show up week after week, month after month, and that means more to these men than any college catalog or housing application. And it's all done on a shoestring budget. Allison now has a part-time assistant, but the counselors continue to volunteer their time, usually about 10 or 12 hours a week. It costs about $400 a month to provide parole clothing to those who have nothing but their prison blues. Another $275 is needed simply for paper and pencils, and $239 a month covers website and newsletter costs. CRP is partially funded by grants, but it also relies heavily on public support and it's a program where donations don't get lost in administrative overhead. Even the smallest donation can make a real difference. So help us continue to give these individuals the tools they need to turn their lives around. Help provide a clean slate. Help us make change possible. For more information, please visit ca-reentry.org.